Hey, this is James. So following on from the last two weeks about the stair tool, so we I went through the uh, winders and some boundary editing. So in this video, I want to show a little bit about the uh, floor plan representation. So I'm just using the Archicad 24 international template. So I'm just going to draw a plain single run uh, stair we have here. And I'm going to use the model view options to just turn off a few of the details because uh, for this video, this is not so important. So I'm going to go to my model view options and under the stair options. So this is going to save under the building plans model view options. For the symbol of floor plan display, I'm just going to turn off the description up and down and the numbering just for uh, clarity of. OK, so that's a little bit simpler for this view. OK, so if we go up a level, then I can see that I can see the whole um, stair length. And if I go up another level, I see the same. But I want to make some changes to this. So I'm going to select the stair, open up the settings dialog. And under my floor plan display, uh, here we have uh, basically where do we want to see the stair, so which levels. And currently it's saying all relevant because this stair is going between ground floor and first floor and then one story above that. But I want to change that to just be home story, uh, home and one story up instead. So this will also modify my settings below this, so layout on. And for the ground floor here, currently it's been set to with break mark. So I'm seeing basically the uh, what's above the break mark and as, as dashed and what's below the break mark as visible. And for the first story, uh, the preview is showing everything. So let's uh, play with this a little bit. So let's say that the ground floor, I only want to see the part below the break mark and I don't want to see the bit above the break mark. And then the other way around for the uh, first floor. So I'm going to say above the break mark is visible and below the break mark is, uh, is hidden. So let's see what those changes do. And we'll click OK. OK, so and then deselect. So now I can see the, vis uh, the part below the break mark is visible here. And when I move up a level, I then see the part that's above. OK, but I want to move where this, uh, this break mark is. So let's have a look at those settings a little bit. So if I go to the break mark section in the floor plan display, currently it's been controlled by the floor plan cut plane. So if we move that cut plane, then this position will move. And the angle of this break mark is currently going through uh, one going. So actually if I reduce this to zero, then you can see it goes straight and then I can increase that to one. Okay, we can change this also just to be an angle, so a fixed angle, but I'll keep this as just a, say one going for now. And I wanna modify this floor plan cut plane and I can set to an nth riser, for example. So I want this break mark to appear, say for now, I wanna be on the fifth riser. So I go OK, so now it's reduced. And if I go up a level, you can see that it's also following. But I want the appearance of this break mark to be different per floor. Because uh, if we just use trace reference, so here, so let's say, for example, there is a uh, kind of a wall here on this upper level. And I want this stair to go to this wall. So let's go back to the floor plan and I'm going to just change this to say maybe it's a higher number. So let's say the tenth and okay. So this is okay for the ground floor, but on my first floor, I want this to be in a different position than this uh, global setting. So if we select this stair on this floor and if we go to edit and automatically it defaults to the schematic view but I want to change to start editing the symbol. And if I select the 
as um, the break mark here and I can drag it so I can move it down here and I can angle it and the other setting I can say what is the distance so let's say maybe it's a, a zero gap uh, unfortunately this dot still appears but this is okay for now so I'm going to exit this and I'm going to just turn off my trace reference so now this stair appearance is stopping at this line exactly where I've told it and if I go down a level then this is still being retained at the uh, settings level so in edit mode if we switch to the symbol and select the uh, break line uh, then we can, then we can modify this uh, break line position independently on each floor so if I move this say uh, a little up further and exit and if I go then to my first floor this hasn't changed here so we can use the edit mode to modify the position of that break mark and also we can use the floor plan display uh, here to determine which parts that we see on the different levels so hopefully this was useful thanks bye